So now if you go to the properties of faces and bases, let me put this added heading that is properties of faces and bases. Properties of assets and bases. If you take in this properties of assets and bases, actually we always get an acid, we can prepare an acid or a base from a salt. Suppose if you take a salt, say you are taking xy is the salt which contains two atoms, one is x and one is y. This salt which is a solid, when you subject it to hydrolysis by adding water, it gives two molecules, two substances I could say that is one is H, X and uh, Y, O, H. H, X and Y, O, H. I will say H, X is an acid which contains H plus ions and Y, O, H is a base which contains O, H minus ions. I can say that if H, X is an acid, if H, X is an acid, then if you are dissolving this H, X in water, this H X in the presence of water as a solvent, it dissociates or ionizes to produce H plus ion aqueous and uh, X minus ion aqueous. That means all acids definitely when they are dissolved in water, they give away the ions. That means acids are characterized by the presence of H plus ions by liberating H plus ions or by producing H plus ions acids are characterized and because they are able to produce ions because they are, they are able to furnish the ions all acids they are good uh, electrolytic they are good electrolytic conductors they are good electrolytic conductors go for a base now for this here i can give you one example also you take one example if you consider hx is the general formula for acid take one example for that acid hcl aqueous if it is dissociated, aqueous means already adding water to the acid, it dissociates to give H plus ion aqueous plus Cl minus ion aqueous. Similarly, you take CH3 COO H aqueous, it is an acid, it dissociates to give H plus ion aqueous plus CH3 COO minus of aqueous. If you go for a base, likewise if you go for a base, this is for acids, all acids, you can take these examples, go for bases, examples, for bases, for bases, general formula, YOH, take this YOH, YOH in the presence of water, it dissociates to give, that is Y plus aqueous plus OH minus ions aqueous. Because it is able to give one OH minus and all bases are all basic substances or the bases are characterized by the furnishing of OH minus ions and acids are characterized by the furnishing of H plus ions. Because they are able to furnish the OH minus ion that, that is hydroxy group OH minus ion and also a cation Y plus anion that is why bases also they are good uh, electrolytic conductors. Electrolytic conductors. Take one example, specific example for a base. If you can take NaOH aqueous, NaOH aqueous, Na plus of aqueous plus OH minus of aqueous. NaOH is a base, it is giving Na plus and OH minus ions. So, therefore, if I could take, if I could take NaOH as a base, this base NaOH. It is giving that is Na plus ion aqueous and OH minus ion aqueous. One more example if I want to take one more example, you can take plenty of examples. Suppose if you are taking magnesium hydroxide, again it is a base, it gives away one magnesium cation which is carrying 2 units of positive charge it gives away 2 OH minus ions aqua state. 
So, here by this we are able to clearly understand that bases always gives OH minus ions and acids always gives H plus ions. So, acids are characterized by the formation of H plus ions and bases are characterized by the formation of OH minus ions. So, in general, in generalized, let us go for simple generalization of acids and bases. I will say that all acids in particular, they are all acids, they are non-metallic, all non-metallic oxides, they can behave as acids. Example, all non-metallic oxides means SO2, SO3, CO2, all these they are acidic in nature. That means, when they are dissolved in water, they can show the acidic nature. For example, if I take carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide gas, when dissolved in water, liquid, it gives an acid, carbonic acid that is H2CO3 liquid, H2CO3 aqueous, H2CO3 aqueous that is carbonic acid. Likewise, if you go for bases, if you go for bases, all metal oxides, all metal oxides they are basic in nature. So, that is for example, if you take sodium oxide is a metal oxide, calcium oxide is a metal oxide, Ag2O silver oxide is a metal oxide, cupric oxide is a metal oxide, all these are metal oxides. So, if they are metal oxides, then uh, if you for example, if I am taking say I am taking calcium oxide, it is a solid, when you are dissolving it in water, liquid it gives a base that is calcium hydroxide that is aqueous, it is a base. All acids, all bases, all bases because they are readily soluble in water, all bases because they are readily soluble in water, these bases sometimes they are also called alkalis, they are also called alkalis, all bases they are also called alkalis.